Hey guys, we're going to jump right into it. So this is a 12 by 24 and first color going down is Oxide Black. Second color is a phthalo blue mix with Windsor blue. I added a little Windsor blue. Next is this little pigment sapphire. It's a really deep sapphire blue. It's just beautiful. And this is this little pigment constellation and it, as you can see, it has a purple tone it is purple it's a purple blue it's really pretty next is my warm white drizzle and I'm just trying to get every little bit out of that cup <laughs> scrape 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 well, I have to tell you right before this um, this is my second attempt for today Oh, Cell Activator, right. Cell Activator is um, a Payne's Gray by Windsor and Newton. Yeah, and I haven't painted since before Hurricane Ida. You know, my last video was literally days before Hurricane Ida, and we got back and a tree on our house and all that stuff, and it's been taken care of the tree has and now we just have a tarp on our roof waiting for construction to begin to fix all the stuff that tree ruined so it's all good everybody's safe so yeah so as I was saying this is my second attempt for the day um, the first one I did I was gonna add some other elements um, near the end of the spinning the spin out process um, and I did that on the first attempt, but then ugh, I had to spin again and it ruined the elements that I added. So, oh, I, I scraped it. I scraped the first piece into my catch, my catch bin. So I'll use that paint, um, probably for my jewelry work, my skins and things like that. So anyway, second attempt, um, and I feel like I haven't painted in ages, which is very strange. It's not really been that long. <laughs> so I had a full on intention of adding those elements to this piece, but once I started spinning it out, I loved the colors so much and I actually loved the shape of the bloom. And like right here, I knew, I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna wanna do that. Like I don't want to. <laughs> But I am going to try this, this, these new elements that I'm thinking about doing, um, and I'll film it. So, uh, maybe I'll do it on a smaller piece in the upcoming days, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was like, oh, I just love this so much as is. I really like these blooms on these long canvases. I know I've been on a kick about it, but they're kind of fun, you know? I like them anyway, these 12 by 24 inch canvases. And I have to say my paints were a little on the thin side, unfortunately. So I just went back and looked at this piece and it's drying. And um, you know, when, when, when your paints are a little on the thin side for the bloom technique, Sometimes you can get, you know, sometimes the lines in the center can get a little squiggly. They're not as like perfect, I guess. Perfectly, perfect little round cells. They can get a little wonky. Um, it just happens from time to time. And it doesn't surprise me that it was kind of doing that to me. But regardless, it's still really beautiful. And there's a lot of sparkle and... Um, shine and depth and it's very graphic looking this piece so so right now I'm actually debating like oh no what should I do should I put the extra oomph that I was going to on it and I know I'm not saying much about it because I, I really want to do it first before I before I show it to you guys I mean I, I want to film it first and, and get it to work before I show you what I'm talking about but 
Yeah, okay, so here we go. Here's a flyover of this piece. And that sapphire right there is, it's really so beautiful. So if you don't have sapphire pigment, like that shiny, beautiful, gorgeous metallic pigment, um, go get it. It's really beautiful. Um, and again, it's sapphire by this little pigment and also constellation is a deep, deep, deep purple. And I love the two together, especially with the black. It's very, um, spacey. <laughs> And I'll, I'll put a link below um, to Fluid Art Co. where you can get um, this little piggy, this little pigment. So there's some really beautiful areas in this. They're really pretty cells. And I, you know, you've heard me talk about the wispy bits, like my, my petals. I like pushing them out and making them kind of wispy and soft. And yeah. So that's it, you guys. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, thanks again and have a good night. See ya.